Okay, I'm back. In uh, in this movie, we're going to create a custom button. So last time we worked on our Apple, I'm just going to click on it and delete it. Don't worry, it's in my library over here. I'm good. We also had this this button, this circle, this green circle. I'm going to drag that out to the stage. And you know what? I'm going to double click on it. All right, and then I'm going to select it and I'm going to delete it. Okay, on the inside. Notice how it disappeared. It's actually still in the library. I just deleted the contents. I've got an empty keyframe here. What I want you guys to do is create your own fancy buttons, and then you're going to put text on top of the buttons. So that's going to be the assignment. So I'm going to give you a couple of options on that. I can go here to the oval tool. All right. And you know what I'm going to do is change it to the rectangle tool. But I'm going to make sure that I have a beveled edge. So what I'll do here is I'll go up and I'll turn that to 26 and get my paint bucket and get a blue color and I'll click and drag and I'm going to make a gel button and show you guys how to do that. All right, so there's my there's my gel button and notice I have a white outline around the button. So what I'm going to do there is get my um, tool here, my select tool, double click on it, just the line. I didn't click on the fill, just the line. And maybe I'll change that to a slightly darker blue. Okay, so now what we have is this type of situation. All right, and um, now you see my button is blue. And what we could do is we could build this button up over and over again and, um, and then eventually change it. So um, next thing I'll do is I'll add maybe, let's say, I don't know, a little highlight to this thing. So what I'll do is, let's see here, I'll copy this, Control C to copy. All right, select the inside, Control C, and now I'm going to make a new layer on top. So I'll go over here to this little button and insert a new layer on top. And I'll hit Control V to paste. Let's see here. Oh, select that first and Control V and then paste that right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, select this part, and delete it. And then I'll take this piece and I'm going to shrink it. So I'll get my transform tool and I will just shrink it just ever so slightly. Well, it's actually not that easy to do. So maybe I'll take it in a little this way, take it in a little this way, and I'll put it over here. Okay. All right. And you can't see it. Oh, there it is. And what I'll do is, is open up my color tool, and I'll lighten the color up a little bit. All right, and you see that now I'm starting to create maybe like a gel button or something like that by having the one piece on top of the other one. Okay, and what I can do is I could take this piece and I could actually put maybe like a, um, ray, a linear gradient in there or something like that to make it fade and appear to fade. Let's see here. Take this, modify, shape, modify, shape, soften fill edges. We'll do that. Uh, we'll do three pixels and we'll do three steps and click OK. And so now it has a softened edge to it and that looks pretty nice. I like that. I could even take this down and I could even alpha it slightly if I want it to be a little see-through. And so now it's even um, starting to get more see-through. And what I could do is just build up on that and maybe put a linear gradient on it, something like that. And then I could put a shadow and I could really work the whole thing and make it just sing. Okay. Eventually what you're going to want to do is put another keyframe here, insert keyframe, right click on the frame where you want it, and then left click on insert keyframe, 
And then what I want to do here is probably select this with my regular selection tool and pick a lighter color. Okay, so now you would have a situation where the button is being rolled over and it would highlight. And I probably need to put keyframe here or just a, maybe even a regular frame here. Let's continue this frame across. So I'll right click insert frame. So now that frame just continues across and you'll see that gets kind of a highlighted situation. If I go to scene one and look at my button, um, it's kind of a big button. But what I could do now is I could drag out two instances and then I'll tell you what to do in the next movie.